Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see the nature of solutions of differential equation. In the previous video, we uh, get introduced ourselves to the subject of differential equation. We saw uh, different classifications of differential equations. We saw several uh, examples uh, or applications where we can use differential equations. Now let's move on to some abstract structures and things about differential equations, right? So we are talking about ordinary differential equations. So so if we wanted to express any ordinary differential equation which is having n order nth order right so what does it mean it would mean that the highest derivative that it would contain would be the nth derivative suppose we have the dependent variable y right and x as the independent variable x is the independent variable so taking both of them we can define our equation like this where we have the nth derivative n minus 1th derivative n minus 2th derivative and so on up to the first derivative and no derivatives just the term containing y and uh, in addition to that we have coefficients of all of these terms so as some function of x they could either be constant or some functions of x so we are calling them by a 0 x a 1 x and so on up to a n x correct a n a n minus 1 x and a n x and we are again taking the right hand side as b x now this is also some function of x now this is the general form of the equation here the condition that is mandatory is a 0 should not be uh, 0 correct this thing could not be 0 why because otherwise our equation would become uh, 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 of order which is less than n and not equal to n however we are taking an equation to be of nth order so a0 has to be non-zero correct this is one thing now uh, here many particular cases of this equation could be considered by taking any of these coefficients as zero constant or uh, various other things similarly with the right hand side correct now once you know this equation you can also express this equation as a function form right in the function form why and how uh, if uh, as you know function takes uh, from one domain element from one domain to the other domain such that they do not repeat themselves such that we have a unique mapping no two elements should map to the same element here correct so uh, here we can write this left hand side as function of now you see which all uh, things are appearing here in the left hand side x is appearing here which is the independent variable y is appearing here which is the dependent variable dy by dx is coming here which is also the uh, dependent variable being the derivative of the dependent variable and so on containing all the derivatives so how uh, in total how many such arguments are there uh, this is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative up to n derivatives. So these are total n terms. We have two more terms. So in total, we have n plus two terms here. Correct. So function in function, we have n plus two arguments here. This is a real function we say and uh, containing n plus two arguments. These are so these are just the two way in which we can express our equation. Correct. Next, knowing this thing, now we wanted to know about the solution here. We wanted to know about the solution of this equation. So let's have a look here. Uh, for the solution, we can define two terms. One is this explicit solution and one is this implicit solution. From the previous classes, you might be knowing about the terms explicit and implicit. So uh, whenever you can write anything in terms only of the independent variable, right? right x square plus 2x plus 3 suppose like this th then it would become explicit however if you write your function or you say y is this y is basically f of x which is this if you write your function in this form x plus y is equal to 5 now you are expressing your function in terms of both x and y because they are they cannot be directly separated together right uh, you can take it like this cube in that case this becomes the implicit function right so if your uh, function which is the solution is explicit in nature then you call your solution to be explicit so here in terms of differential equation we define it like this we assume that small we assume small f be our fun solution now what would be a solution in the previous classes also whenever you were 
to solve some equation x square minus 4 is equal to 0 then you say x is equal to 2 was your solution why because x is equal to 2 satisfies this equation 2 square minus 4 which is 4 minus 4 which is 0 so it satisfies your equation hence becomes the solution the same procedure we are going to apply here we say f small f is the solution of our differential equation when whenever we first of all assume three things that it should be a real function y because our differential equation is also real it should be defined for all x if our differential equation is defined on a certain region suppose on some particular interval i then it is defined for all x belonging to this interval and it should have n derivative y because then only you are able to put it in your differential equation right so if these th three things are followed by this function small f then we call this to be the explicit solution of the given differential equation whenever first of all it uh, satisfies our differential equation this is your this was your differential equation right and moreover the function which you have defined uh, which uh, you are used to define the, your differential equation this one if you put f here instead of y everywhere then it should be defined first of all it should be defined and moreover when you put f here in place of y you should get a zero here if you that means what does it mean actually both these conditions mean that it satisfies your given differential equation correct what about implicit solution so for implicit solution we have a relation of this kind g of x y is equal to 0 so it is some relation in x and y which contains both x and y it is an implicit solution when do we call it to be an implicit solution whenever uh, when you uh, define it at least one real function f in x would be such that it becomes the explicit solution now the definition from here is not very clear but for the sake of completeness i have written it down here but you will be uh, looking at this implicit solution and understanding it more clearly through the help of an example so let's move forward to first of all look at the uh, explicit solution and then we'll be moving on to understanding implicit solution so first of all for explicit solution we consider the function real function to be defined like this 2 sin x plus 3 cos x right now we say this small f of x is a solution of this differential equation d2y by dx2 plus y is equal to 0 and it is defined for all real x so this is the domain here so function here is also defined for all real x right this is a real function second assumption and third assumption its second derivative could be found easily correct so all the assumptions are satisfied so for solution we need to check first of all that the uh, f this function is defined and moreover when you substitute in it into your differential equation you obtain a zero right so we say this is a solution how so here we first of all calculate its derivatives right that's very easy so once you calculate the derivatives you substitute the values here into this differential equation so you can put the value of double derivative here and solve the left hand side this is what this is your f of x so you see these values get cancelled with each other and you get a zero which is nothing but your right hand side hence the solution this satisfies the differential equation for all x hence we say this is an explicit solution why because this function is defined only in terms of x and no y is seen here anywhere correct now moving on to our explicit implicit solution here for this part we say x square plus y square minus 25 is equal to 0 this is an implicit solution of the differential equation right the differential equation is given to be x plus y dy by dx is equal to 0 on the interval now we are also given this interval minus 5 and 5 now you, if uh, if you see if you take x is equal to minus 5 or you take x uh, is equal to fi uh, plus 5 
then what would happen here if you substitute it like this you all you are always going to get y as equal to 0 hence we are not taking these points in the domain because they are creating some problem here so the, you see the domain is defined in such a manner that uh, our solution is obtained easily uh, because uh, the solution to differential equation for almost every case is not there it is just available to us for so, uh, some specific cases okay so now coming back here we can say this uh, x square plus y square minus 25 is equal to 0 is an implicit solution to our differential equation right so how this is there from uh, for this you can see that we can use this relation here and we can define two function from it which all two functions could be defined we call them by f1 and f2 right so we can uh, because if you calculate the value of y from here what do you get you get y square is equal to 25 minus x square or when you take the square root on both sides you get plus minus square root 25 minus x square so you take the plus value as f1 and you take the negative value as f2 correct so we are defining it like this our f1x is plus square root 25 minus x square and uh, your f2x is minus square root 25 minus x square correct now if any one of these two becomes the explicit solution that means this relation would become our implicit solution this is the concept here right so we can verify it for both because in the definition you can see we have the term at least one so if at least one of them becomes the explicit solution then our relation becomes the implicit solution correct so therefore in this particular case we it's, uh, we say that in in this case we say both f1 and f2 they are the explicit solution let's verify how if when you substitute f1 into your equation calculate its first derivative and substitute it here into your equation you get left hand side equal to right hand side so it satisfies the differential equation hence becomes the explicit solution similarly f2x also satisfies your given equation this is your f2x you calculate its first derivative substitute in the left hand side of your differential equation solve see this and this cancel so you have x minus x equal to 0 which is nothing but your right hand side correct so therefore in this particular case this also satisfies your differential equation hence both f1 and f2 they become the explicit solution hence this makes this relation as an implicit solution of your differential equation so i hope you understood about these solutions in uh, well that is it for this video thank you for watching